Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Williams Road to Glory career mode. Here today for another two races. Starting off here at Suzuka for the very first time in the career mode. And then we head to Mexico. Further on in the video. So coming into Mexico off the back of Monza last time out. And we had a shocking qualifying so we're going to take a full new engine. And here is the grid then for the Grand Prix. You can see that George was fourth. So we had a good start. A good qualifying. And you can see the grid here. And then we'll get into the race. So we're going to do the one stop. Start on the softs. And now let's get into the Japanese Grand Prix. Lights went out. And we're underway. Here at Suzuka for the first time in the career mode. Now getting down to business. We just need to watch it down into town when we go around the outside of the Alpine and the Alphatari and the Haas. We got a little bit wide. The Haas is coming back at us, but we squeeze him wide and he's lost out to the Alphatari and the Alpine almost. He's still fighting. It's through. The last bit of the S section we go and the Alphatari of Iki Tsunoda and his home guard break coming back at us now into the chicane sending down the inside of another two cars the Alfa Romeo and the other Haas and now towards the end of the lap down the inside of the other Alfa Romeo we have had an incredible start here here, here in Japan we're not messing about with our brand new engine shiny new out of the microwave engine and now we're on the back of Grand New Joe now can we get past him we took us so many laps to get him all the way now into lap 10 and finally down the inside into turn 1 I just couldn't get close enough to have a go into turn 1 or anywhere else and now on to lap 11 and George is a whole uh, pit stop ahead of us and he has come out just behind us as we were starting to pull we let George, you can see here Max is having to go at us we just give Max a little nudge wide and that allows George to go through bit of teammate play here because we're on our own pretty much we're just about keeping gunny to bay I let George through and now look, we're just, we're just going to play cheeky with Max Verstappen as he tries to get past us, we're doing, being very aggressive here as we, we've done an extra lap and we've gained George a lot of time on him, you can see the gap there we're side by side, we're going to keep it thin around the outside of 130R and we're still ahead, I think Max is probably swearing in under that helmet but we did a great job there, Fernando Alonso-esque as we pit for our one and only stop of the Grand Prix and also Granny Joe follows us in to the pits and on to the, top, the medium tires we go and we're going to come out, you can see they're just not that far behind the Aston Martins and we were slowly catching the Aston Martins, you can see how close they were Vettel ahead of Lance Stroll Looks like we might have an issue. Hang in there. We're attempting to manage it. No, that is not good. Okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. This is serious. We need you to retire as soon as possible. And our brand new engine's gone up in smoke there. And we arrived at the Japanese Grand Prix. We were just slowly eating away at large stroll but we're out to the Grand Prix and I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations a real team victory today everybody played their part congratulations then to Mercedes your race winners today So 
so annoying. But Bottas wins. It's just we were leaving Granny J for dust, and we were slowly eating away at large straw. Before the engine died, Valtteri Bottas wins the Grand Prix from Paris and Max Verstappen. So I would know that didn't really achieve anything. And Max Verstappen is not far off winning his first world title. And we're all the way down. See us in the constructors there. But that's the Japanese Grand Prix. Bit of a dull episode if it was on its own. Now, let's get into the Mexican Grand Prix. But before we get into the Mexican Grand Prix then, we have a massive regulation change for pretty much everything. There's the the power unit, the durability, and the chassis as well. And we'll start from pole position with Daniel Ricciardo slotting in alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Latifi, Sergio Perez, and Bottas, Leclerc, Gasly, Sainz, and Yuki Tsunoda, Brown, Vettel, Esteban Ocon, and Joe, Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, Christian Lundgaard, and Nikita Mazepin. Russell and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. So then it's going to be a two stop for us, starting P11. Um, because we won this race last season, our first win for Williams, and Williams' first win since 2012. So can we repeat it? Here we go, the Mexican Grand Prix. And away we go, it's McLaren v McLaren, off the line, Lando v Ricardo. But, so just start by the Red Bull there. There's been us listening, just sitting in the slipstream, waiting for someone. As one of McLaren just lost out, the Red Bull's gone round the outside. We've gained quite a few positions. Side by side with the Alphatari and pass both of the Ferraris there. And now Lando Norris leads from Daniel Ricciardo from the two Red Bulls and we send it down the inside again and we've got Nicholas Latifi and from P11 I make that down the inside P5 we get both Mercedes there as well and now we're on the way back of Sergio Perez through the S section we go at his home Grand Prix we fought him up for the win last season can can he do it this year? As we're right on the back of the Mexican now. Tim McLaren and Verstappen are starting to pull away. As Max Verstappen! Sorry, it's Perez out of Verstappen. And Max Verstappen! He's nearly wiped us out of the Grand Prix. What's happened to Max Verstappen? Here's what's happened to Max Verstappen. He got a good start. I don't know why he's looking out of. Lando Norris is slipstream there and down into turn 1 what's happened here? through the SH and there's the other McLaren oh it has made contact the two former teammates that's what's happened to Max Verstappen down the inside and so nearly having a big crush with Daniel with Max Verstappen and we just couldn't as there's a McLaren going slow and it's Lando Norris Lando Norris from the lead of the Grand Prix. His McLaren engine is gone bang. His Mercedes engine is gone bang. And he is out of the Grand Prix and that puts us into the podium places. Ricardo leads from Perez. But here comes Valtteri Bottas. And he gets us round the outside. Going into the stadium section. Could not keep him behind. I gave it everything. But we're gonna go back at him into turn one. We force him wide. We've cut him back. Tried to do the cut back. Couldn't get the job done. Can we do it now into turn four? We look very, very far back here though. And we are we're gonna sell oh, we just a little bit too far back and I think that may well be it for us. As Perez got massively caught by Bottas and you can see he's in the background absolutely nowhere as them two pit 
for their first stop of the day and we're going to follow them in. So I think they're going to go into another set of the softs because we're going to go mediums and then back on to the softs at the end. So our first stop of the day and now to the pits we go and I think very slim chances of us repeating last season as there there's the Aston Martin and we must we may have messed up it because we've lost down and we've had to overtake the, the Aston Martin and we've lost so much time getting past Sebastian Vettel and we haven't really got the pace of Bottas and Perez. Bottas has actually overtaken Perez during the pit stops. And now skipping on to our second stop of the day. Back onto the soft tyres we go. Ricardo still leads from Perez, from Bottas. Bottas has lost out to Perez again somewhere. As after the pits now, we're going to see him side by side with George Russell. And we just be out. George doing a very good one stop. There. And we come out just about, just ahead of him. But we have come out, because we've gone longer, behind Carlos Sainz and behind Pierre Gasly. So we've got to get through them two to get back to where we were. We're on the back of Carlos Sainz now. And we're going to send it into turn, into turn 4, jump down on the Spaniard. We go a little bit wide, and he's not able to cut us back. But with 6 laps to go, can we catch Peter Gasly? And Peter Gasly, we haven't really got the pace. And Carlos Sainz is going to come back at us now. And we keep it pinned round the outside. You see that Charles Leclerc has overtaken George as well. But it's going to be Daniel Ricciardo who wins. The Mexican Grand Prix from Perez, from Bottas, and Pierre Gasly's beating us on the As line. As the winners make their way up to the podium, one can only imagine the celebrations that will take place at McLaren tonight. Congratulations to everyone on the team securing the win and proving they're a force to be reckoned with out on the track. Orlando Norris was controlling that race, Ricardo wasn't really just staying in touch with him but Ricardo controlled it, Lando had his problem and now we go into the final two rounds with Verstappen very much a hand and a half on the championship trophy so I'm going to say this is the first time he's legitimately won a world championship but we won't get into that but if you have enjoyed this episode two races Actually, Japan was the first time we hadn't we'd finished outside the points since the very first round of the season. But hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you for the last races of this season for the Brazilian and the Australian Grand Prix. Goodbye.